The Odeon at Norwich was the first of 25 new Odeons opened in 1938. Another of the Harry Whedon designed cinemas its restrained facade contrasts with the exuberant handlings of the decorative grills in the auditorium. This Odeon seated 2,054, much larger than average, and was closed in 1971. It was sold in a deal that provided for a new Odeon elsewhere with half the seating, which opened two weeks after this was shut down. The Chorley Odeon was another designed by Whedon's team and it had a slim tower with the Odeon name on the projecting fin. The auditorium seated a more average 1,526 on a stadium plan. But as at Norwich, the side grills received conspicuous treatment. George Coles gave the Erith Odeon in Kent a massive frontage in Fayence unrelieved by brick and with only one small line of windows. The auditorium, seating only 1,246, was wonderfully streamlined with bands on the side walls and ceiling pointing towards the screen. As a bingo hall in more recent years, its scheme of illumination has been replaced by direct down lighting. Another modest-sized Odeon opened at Spalding in Lincolnshire, designed by Harry Whedon. It was sold in 1967, later becoming the independent regent. It was designed on the stadium plan. Few Odeons show the Whedon flair better than the one at Newport in South Wales, photographed here in August 1975. Its skillful blend of brick and faience, its slab tower and rounded corner, all recall the treatment of Sutton Coldfield and Harrogate. The auditorium is restrained but welcoming. Odeon closed in 1981. Though expected to become a bingo hall, it was simply left standing and unused. <laughs>